today, we'll learn how to add a reflection to anything. This effect is super simple to do and can easily give your photos some extra flair. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, you can download the exercise images from the link in the video description. You'll need two images to create this effect, your main image and an image for the reflection. I've chosen this model for the main image, and then I have this street image for the reflection. I imagine that our model is sitting inside of a restaurant, and this is what it looks like outside. Let's start by copying the street image by pressing Command or Control C. Then I'll come back to my main image, and I'll press Command or Control V to paste it into our document. Then we can use the Move tool to reposition this image. I want it to fully cover our main image layer. I'll go ahead and lower the opacity so that I can see where this image will line up. I think it'd look good to have the building here and to have the train in the image as well. All right, I'll just bring back up the opacity. So once you have the image where you want it, there are just four steps for creating the reflection. Step number one, is to change the blend mode of this reflection layer. So I'll click right here for our blend modes, and then I'm going to change it to screen. This will begin to blend the images together so that only the lightest parts of the reflection are showing, like the sky and the building. Notice that the dark areas of the original image, like the street or the train, start to disappear when I turn on the screen blend mode. Step number two is to add a levels adjustment to this reflection image. I'll go to our adjustments down here and then apply a levels adjustment. Now I only want this adjustment to be applied to the reflection layer. So I'm going to click this down and to the right of this layer. The reason that we're applying a levels adjustment to this layer is so that we can make more of the reflection image disappear by making more areas darker like the train and the street. You can see as I begin to move this black level slider over that more and more of the reflection image begins to disappear and we're only left with the lightest parts of the image. I think somewhere around 50% for the black level looks good for this image. Step number three is to blur the image. Reflections in glass aren't usually this sharp. You can really see all of the detail of this building. So adding a blur to this will really help to soften this look. I'm going to select our reflection image layer so that the blur is applied to it. Then I'll go to our filters and apply a Gaussian blur. Then I'll just bring up the radius until the softness looks nice. All right, and now we have our last step. Step number four is to lower the opacity of your reflection layer. I'll go ahead and bring this down. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's check out this before and after. Here's the before, and here's our after. Nice work. In just four easy steps, we've added a beautiful reflection to this image. If you want to learn our affinity workflow, then check out the free course below.